Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the show. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Another thing you have to be aware of is the heat. The heat is unbelievable. You can't take it lightly. I don't think I've ever... I've played basketball in certain areas of the country where it's like it's hot. But it is hot. You're losing five, six pounds a game. And the first quarter because it is just so hot. Maybe I'm just not adjusted to it. I believe it's because I just came from Chile. And we was in winter. In Chile, in the area where I was at majority of the times, because it's so close to a volcano and stuff like that, there is... It was a colder environment and majority of times for like the last four to five months before I arrived here, it was just winter and it was cold and it was like freezing all the time. I had to wear gloves, two, three jackets. And I think that's part of the reason why my body hasn't adjusted to this type of heat that they got out here. I'm talking about it's hot. It's hot. The minute you walk outside, you're sweating. At night, it's sweating. It's, I think in Celsius, I think that's what the majority of the people overseas use. It's like 30 degrees Celsius at night, and you got to play in that night in and night out. So your body's losing a, a lot of sweat and electrolytes. You have to take a lot of hydration. You got to have a lot of hydration. You got to be fueling your body with water and I like to drink the coconut milk. They got this joint, the coconut milk, because you know coconut milk is really like the best form of hydration, best electrolytes. It's not Gatorade. It's not water. Coconut milk literally gives you the best form of hydration. And out here, they actually sell a lot of coconut milk, like the big joint, a big jug of it. It's so fire. It's actually really, really good. On top of, it's actually very good for your body because you're gonna need those electrolytes because you're gonna be losing so much for the sweat that you're gonna. Just from playing. They ain't, I haven't been in the AC field gym yet. I'm not saying that they don't have none. Yes, they do. But for the wild ball purposes, I haven't ran into none. And every last, every single one of my homeboys that I see playing, when they post on their IGs and doing all of that, they're just drenched. Just completely drenched. And just sweat because it is so hot out here. So you have to... Make sure you're getting a lot of electrolytes and taking care, taking a lot of and drinking a lot of water, having a lot to put into your body to replenish. Like I say, I drink the coconut milk and one game, I was playing a game and we was down and I was like playing super hard. So I was exerting a lot of energy and I just played two games the night before and it was for like a championship and I was trying to get in. I don't know. I was trying to win. So I'm out here jumping, going, diving, doing all that. And you know when you start to play and you do one of those jumps and you catch the two cramps in the back of your hamstrings and your calf at the same time, you know it's going to be a long night. That's because it's just so hot and you're losing so much. You're losing so much sweat and all that out your body. Once you start about to catch a cramp, I'm about to catch a cramp in my forearm. When I start about to catch a cramp in weird areas in my body, I know I'm dehydrated. I know I'm dehydrated. Once you start about in weird areas, you start about feeling like you want to catch a cramp, that's when you know, okay, I'm extremely dehydrated. That's why it's so important to stay hydrated with like, that. I drank that coconut milk that night and I was hooked because the minute I drank that, I felt like, okay, I hadn't even came close to catching a cramp ever since then. And I probably played like four games after that. So the heat, be aware of the heat, make sure you stay hydrated. Don't take that lightly. Because if you can't play, because you cramping up, you won't get paid. And you come out here to get paid. Now, another topic I would like to talk, talk about is the switch up. And what do I mean by the switch up? Like, I don't understand sometimes. I guess they feel like you should win every game. Well, you're a foreigner, so you should win every game. That's not really basketball. I haven't had this happen to me, but I have seen it happen to a lot of players, and I have heard some instances of other guys going through this. Like, once you lose, it's like they just forget all about you. They forget all about you. They don't, normally when you go, they're gonna pick you up, they're gonna give you food, lunch, dinner, after every game. They're always so 
happy. They're always so energetic when they first meet you. They're just gonna take care of everything for you. They're talking to you. They hey, every like they treat you so well until you lose. When you lose, they switch up real fast. That's why it's real important to know who you are associated with because you don't want to be with some guys that are like that or are going to put you in a position with some people that are going to do that for do that to you. You don't want to be in that position. You don't want to be in that position where you're with some guys and then like, okay, you lose a game and then they don't give you your food after the game. They don't text you back no more. You're supposed to be going to your next flight or something and they don't inform you on nothing. They just go ghost. That happens a lot. They will go ghost. They will just ignore you and act like ain't like you don't exist anymore because you didn't get you didn't win for them or something of that nature. Which is it's real BS. You gotta make sure that when you come out here, just don't just be so thirsty to be with anybody. Vet the people that you are going to be with. Make sure that the people that you are with, other people can vouch for them. Let them know that hey this is my guy i'm trying to get them on you know so they know if they've been in the area like i've been with a guy from when i was first out here in 2018. i'm not working with him now but i have worked with him and he's still on my line like if anything ever happens with anybody else i know bro got me i know he's good people why because one he's actually somebody from the states and it's easier to work with really people your own kind Honestly, not no disrespect because there are a lot of good Chinese people that will take care of you and look out for you. And I don't want to just make it seem like, oh, they. but there's a lot of shysty people in this business. This is a very shysty and grimy business. You have to make sure you get your money. Make sure you are with good people. Make sure you do not get screwed over. Make sure you get your money. Make sure you are with the right people because it will happen that somebody, some people will try to get over on you. Don't just come, oh, hey, I got a job for you. Come out here and then you get stranded somewhere out in China and you can't read Chinese and you don't know how you're going to get back because you lost a game and they don't like the way you play. So they're going to ice you out. That's what it is. I was talking to some of the guys and it was like, they'll hire some, for instance, there some players that got hired and I guess they were giving them more money than they believed they deserved. And so when they brought them out here, and they wasn't playing to the expectation that they believe, they start to ice them out. Well, what do I mean by ice them out? I mean like they will not give them games. If you're out here and you in a week pass by and you ain't got at least four to five games, what you got, like, that's not gonna sustain you. That's not why you come out here. The games should be, you should be at least honestly five games in a week. Unless you're taking your own personal break, you should be at least the four to five games a week, bare minimum. Bare minimum. Bare minimum you should be getting that. But sometimes they feel like, oh, we're paying this guy too much. They start not paying them or not giving them games. They'll give games to other people and they don't give you the games. So you're not getting the money that you came out here for it's because you're not getting games and they're over you and they'll try to make you sign a contract to only work with them when it comes to games. Why? Because if they're getting, if they're the person, they're the agent getting you the games, they pay them, they pay you. So if they don't pay the agent, you don't get paid, they don't find you the games, you can't get your money. And so how do they get you out of the contract? How do they get you? They ice you out. They don't get you games. Going back, make sure you vet the people that you are coming out here with so you don't get into that situation where you're not getting any games and you're not being able to get your money like you like you need to because, let's be honest, we come out here to run it up. We come out here to run it up, but then they will switch up on you after a loss. They will switch up on you after a loss. That's why it's very, very, very important to make sure you're with the right people. Make sure you're with the right people. Don't 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 get out here and get trying to chase the money and be in a bad situation and end up in Chaching Tong City by yourself with no way to get home and nobody to talk to <laughs> and nobody to talk to 
That that ain't cool, man. That ain't cool. So just be aware. I would say just just be aware. Another thing you have to look out for or just be aware of is the Chinese bias towards their players. They're going to be more in favor towards them in the game. And it's going to be very blatant. Very, 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 very blatant. You can't touch them, almost. A great steal, it's going to be a foul. You're going to get hacked, something crazy. It's going to be a play on for them, a good defense for them. You're going to almost get your legs clipped out. It ain't going, they're just going to look at you like, but if you breathe on it, oh, that's a foul. You put your hands up, they could throw it over the basket, that's a foul. There is a bias towards the local Chinese players against the foreigners. Don't let it get to you. Don't let it get you upset to where you're going to fight with one of these guys or become a hothead to one of these these players and now you're considered the crazy guy and they're all around now everybody's saying like no 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 this the crazy guy it's the crazy one and now you're not getting games now you're getting iced out then now you're getting like a bad name a bad rep and nobody wants to hire you just take it with a grain of salt it is what it is yes we know it was a terrible call Yes, we know they are cheating for the Chinese. If you see a team with all Chinese players, be ready to get cheated. It's better to have a play against a team because some teams, they will have Americans or imports on both sides. Some teams are filled with about four or five imports on one team and four or five on the other team, and they're all going to play against each other. Those, that's about as clean as the game is going to get. If you want a clean game, it's only going to be when it's imports against imports, foreigners against foreigners. When's it a team like foreigners against Chinese? Oh boy, best believe you're going to get, they are going to hold you. You are going to get terrible calls. They're going to do some wild, crazy stuff and they're going to get away with it. You got to almost play perfect defense. You better hit all your shots. You better get some leak outs and run. Because let's be honest, the majority of times, the foreigners, you're going to be more athletic, faster, and they know that. You, you just more athletic and too fast because they're not fast they're not it's not like they're not fast they're just not as physically gifted as the imports that's why they bring the imports in but one thing they can do is shoot the ball oh my goodness chinese players they can absolutely shoot the ball one thing they can do is shoot the ball when i say strap they have a strap and not a little one i mean a strap that's more catered to their game to shoot the physical attributes of being able to dribble dunking getting to the lane blowing by you mm, nah they want to get in the paint and be all extra physical and throw your shoulder four or five times and the rest are going to let that go they're going to let it go they're going to be more favored towards them so you just can't take it personal. You just can't take it personal. You just got to be prepared for it. They're going to do some dirty stuff. They're going to do some dirty stuff. The majority of the time they're going to tell you, hey, take care of yourself. Because once you start winning, I think my very first game, we were beating the team. We were beating the team. And I went to shoot and the guy just stuck his whole foot up under me. Just, and he did it to like two or three of my other players. And they didn't make a call. I think they made it, they called it one time. They're gonna do some just they're gonna do some stuff. Then they tried to fight one of my um teammates, just pushing them and coming and cussing them out. He just laughed it off because he's been out here and he knows like I'm not gonna let you mess up my money. I'm not gonna let you mess up my money. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to we're beating you by 20, so let me try to fight you and get you mad and get you upset so you can mess your money up and do something so I can get you kicked out of the game. And I can get... And now, you got the bad... They're going to be biased towards the, towards the locals. Just be prepared for it. Don't let it get to you. Just They're going to be biased. You know? They're, they're, they're going to be some players that they put in there intentionally just to hurt you. They will intentionally try to hurt you. 
I think almost every game I played with, everybody's always told me, hey, be careful. Make sure you take care of yourself. Why? Because they're going to try to hurt you. They will intentionally try to hurt you. It's just the way it's, it's wild. It's wild ball. They're going to do some wild stuff. They're going to do some wild stuff. It is what it is. It ain't like, you know, I ain't going to say everybody just going to come and just undercut you, but they're going to do some wild stuff. They're going to do some wild stuff. They're going to they're gonna try to hurt you a little bit. Just, hey, don't go all the way to the cup sometimes. Just shoot the floater. Take the pull up. Don't get yourself hurt. You out here to get your money. Hey, guys, thanks for tuning in to the show. Please subscribe on our YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and wherever you listen to your podcast. I greatly appreciate it.